Today on Ninja Lab, we have six qualifiers to discuss. Hello, my name is William, and join me today as we'll be going over the results of iCord Fitness, Modus Ninja Warrior, Nola Musa Park, uh, Play CLE, Ultimate Obstacles, and Parkour Ninja, starting with iCord Fitness. In third place for the adult women was Whitney Miller. Whitney was able to complete the rope jungle, however, she was unable to get past the globe arch. In second place was Whitney Lavencher. Whitney also failed the globe arch, but she reached the obstacle a little bit more than one second faster than the other Whitney. Both Whitneys also qualify for the World Championship. And in first place was last year's point leader, Mei Ling Huan. Mei Ling was the only woman who was able to complete the globe arch, but unfortunately she was taken out on the course's brutal balance gauntlet obstacle. In third place for the adult male division was Tim Dexter. Tim was able to survive the brutal balance gauntlet section as well as the floating monkey bars. However, he was unable to hold on to the vertical limit section. But because he was able to complete the cliffhanger fast enough, he finishes in third place. In second place was Joseph Meissner. Joseph was able to find a unique but legal workaround for the balance gauntlet section and was able to complete the vertical limit as well as the rest of the entire course in a time of 2 minutes and 59 seconds flat. He earns 9 more points to his total. And in first place for the adult man division was Matthew Bradley. Even though he didn't use the workaround for the balance section and he lost one of the handles for the floating monkey bars, Matthew was still able to finish the course faster than Joseph with a time of 2 minutes and 16.43 seconds. This amazing pace earned Matthew an additional 10 points for his season rankings. It's now time for the comic question of the week. What do you like most about the National Ninja League? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's take a look at the results of Modus Ninja Warrior. In first place for the adult female division was Christina McCandless. Christina finished the cargo net, however she was unable to hold her grip on the very next obstacle, but her performance allows her to qualify for the World Championship. In third place for the adult male division was Anthony Nguyen. Anthony was able to survive a brutal gauntlet of upper body and balance obstacles. However, he was unable to hold his grip on the obstacle immediately after the Pinocchio, leaving him with 8 points on his standings. In second place was Gary Park, who also completed Pinocchio, but did it in a faster time, specifically 2 minutes and 16.98 seconds. And in first place was Harrison Dockery, who completed the Cane Lane Ring Combination with a time of 2 minutes and 17.01 seconds. This was a full 2 obstacles further than Gary. All three men in the top three all qualified 
for the World Championship. Unfortunately, we don't have any footage for the next three qualifiers. A friendly reminder to our partner gyms to make sure you get in your footage in time. That way, we can feature your gym to all our viewers and show everyone just how great your facility is. First up, let's talk about NOLA Muscle Park. And first place for the adult female was Dorian Joy O'Sullivan, who completed the Jagged Steps. And for the adult male division, in third place was Michael Johnson, who completed the Pipe Seesaw Combo in 3 minutes and 32.35 seconds. And this qualifies him for the World Championship. In second place was Matthew Hall, who finished the entire course in 5 minutes and 5.37 seconds. And in first place was Daniel Gill, the Kingdom Ninja, who qualifies for the World Championship by finishing with a time of 4 minutes and 42.33 seconds. For the Play CLE results, in first in third place for the adult female is Amy Edwards, who completed the cargo net. And in uh, second place was Sophia Oyster, who completed the balance tube in 2 minutes and 7 seconds. And in first place for the adult females was Rachel Franz, who also completed the balance tube, but did so in 2 minutes and 4.31 seconds, a little more than 3 seconds faster. For the adult male division, third place is Sean Noel, who officially qualifies for the World Championship by finishing with a time of 3 minutes and 30.22 seconds. In second place is Antoine McLedon, who finished with a time of 3 minutes and 20.59 seconds. And in first place is Isaac Blackburn, who qualifies for the World Championship by finishing with a time of 3 minutes and 9.84 seconds. And... For the Ultimate Obstacles Qualifier, in third place for the adult females is Taylor Johnson, who completed the Lord of the Rings. And second place is the well-known Alyssa Beard, who completed the fi Flying Giraffe in 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And in first place is Casey Rothschild, who completed the Flying Giraffe a little bit faster than Alyssa, specifically 3 minutes 9.54 seconds. For the adult male division, third place was Matthew Salbowski, who completed the Flying Dreff. And in second place was Lucas Reale, who completed Is. Uh, and in first place is Luke Dillon, who is the only man to qualify. And he did so uh, by... Sorry, he was the only man to finish. And he did so in 4 minutes and 28.69 seconds. For all inf information of upcoming qualifiers and our upcoming world championship in February, make sure to check out NationalNinja.com for a full schedule of events. Now let's finish things off with the results of Parkour Ninjas, complete with video footage. In third place for the adult female division was Holly Cavanos. Holly was able to get past the first three balance obstacles by taking her time and taking a steady approach, but unfortunately she was unable to get past the flywheels. The good news is that her performance qualifies her for the World Championship in February. In second place was Nikki Perella. Nikki was able to finish the first three balance obstacles faster than Holly, however she was also unable to complete the flywheels. The good news is that with this performance she is currently in the lead of the adult female division. In first place for the adult females was Sweet Tea Tiana Weberly. Tiana was able to make it a full nine obstacles further than Nikki and was looking strong throughout the course. In fact, she might have been able to complete the whole thing, but unfortunately her time expired while she was in the middle of the bar hop obstacle.
the adult male division was truly a race to the finish. In third place was the Phoenix, Najee Richardson, who took special care to not fall early on and then used a unique shortcut in one of the earlier obstacles, but was able to finish the entire course with a time of 4 minutes and 52.3 seconds. This performance guarantees that Najee qualifies for the NNL World Championship in February. In second place is Matthew Day. Much to Thomas Stilling's delight, Matthew Day was able to find a even more unique way through the Shuffle Steps obstacle, and was able to finish the course faster than Naji in a total of 4 minutes and 43.15 seconds. Matthew looked very solid on the entire course, and this qualifies him for the National Ninja League World Championship. A great performance by Matthew. And in first place was Anton Fomenko. Anton didn't use any type of fancy techniques or workarounds on the course. He was just fast. In fact, he was able to beat Matthew by only 0.13 seconds by finishing the entire course in 4 minutes 43.02 seconds. It is hard to get any closer than that, but Anthony was able to just edge out Matthew and earn 10 more points for his national rankings. Thank you all once again for watching this week's edition of Ninja Lab. Make sure you subscribe to know when future videos go live, and make sure to check out full runs of all of our qualifier events. And thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time.